Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, George, the Tech Doc. So, here just to give you another quick video, just on the continuation from yesterday, from the Android Wear. So, uh, if you have any questions about apps that you, have on, uh, that you want to have on your Android Wear smartwatch, I'll make you a quick list about the apps that I currently use on my Android Wear smartwatch. So, stay tuned for all of them. Okay guys, so, let's go and take a look at what apps do I have currently on my LG G Watch R, right? Okay, so at the end I'll talk about the watch face, okay? So first let's go to the app drawer. Okay, so in here we have, let me just refocus this. Okay, by order we have here first we have the most used apps or most recently used apps. Okay, so I have 2048. This is a quick game of, you know, the, these tiles. You know, this game. So it's pretty good on the smartwatch because it's of the tiny space and, you know, you can just kill time easily here, right? Okay, so in here you press the button and then you can go back, right? So next, we have my agenda. You can see all the events of the day. I don't have anything else right now. Okay. Um, my alarm. This can this came also bundled with the watch itself, so it's easy to set up an alarm and it will vibrate on your wrist. So it's a pretty neat app, in my opinion. I use it every day. I Amazon shopping. In here, you can. Um, you know, search by voice for some products and easily you order with your account, right? So, uh, one of my favorite apps is the audio recorder. So you can record audio directly on the built-in microphone here and it's pretty neat because you can listen it to the, to the phone, right? Or you can use your Bluetooth headphones to listen to them. Uh, with uh, what else? Okay, Google Authenticator. It's because it's sometimes you need uh, two-step verification for your Gmail or, or stuff like that. And uh, we have a a tiny browser. You know, it's uh, you can bookmark some pages and you can watch them right in your phone on your smartwatch. Okay, so we have a tiny calendar just to check the dates if you need something you know quick and easy. It's not like a calendar, so you can make appointments. It's just so you can know which date is it going to be. We have uh, LG Call, which is an app that you can dial right from the from your phone. You can dial your recent numbers, or you can dial your contacts, or you can make a, a dialer in here, which is pretty neat. What else? We also have a counter. It's pretty useful. Sometimes you need to count something. You're like one, two, three, four, five. And you can restart in here, or you can give it one less or something like that. So it's a pretty small app. So we also have Duolingo. This is, if you know the app, it's for language learning. It's a pretty good app for this one. And you can also have some practice in here, some cards. Find my phone, that's the thing that I was talking to you yesterday, which you can find your phone ringing just by tapping your smartwatch. And it's going to try to find your phone. And if not, it's about to ring. So if you listen to something, <laughs> that's my phone. You can stop it in here. And many apps have some notifications right within them. Google Fit gives you all your fitness data, uh, fit activity. You can start a run, a bike um, ride, or something like that. Flashlight is very useful at night. It will turn the brightness of the screen to the max, and you can use it to find something in the dark. Foursquare, it, it can also give you some recommendations about the area where you are. Google, you can search by voice. A guitar tuner using the Microsoft phone in there. Google Hangouts, you can check your chats and you can send quick replies via voice or via emojis that you can draw in the screen. And you can also send some other replies that are built in there. Google Keep, so you can keep your um, most recent notes in here, your to-do list and stuff like that. So it's pretty, pretty useful. Like grocery shopping or something like that. It's pretty, pretty useful. Uh, we could also have Google Maps, you can navigate here you can see a map or where you want to go some games okay we have orbits 
which is one of my favorite games in which you can you have to jump between your orbits so you can um, try to save the planet that you are in this case is Earth right so it's a pretty neat game it's pretty easy it's pretty easy to play and it has some nice graphics as you can see you tap it on the inside you go to the inner orbit and out to the outer orbit and it's pretty a pretty nice game so what else are oh, we're also well almost finished papercraft is another great app it's a great game it's like a space invaders or some you know like a shooter but sideways it's pretty neat usually they are like like up and down right So this is a pretty nice game with some very nice graphics, very nice attention to detail. You can double tap to make a run for backwards, so in case any chip tries to pass your defenses, right? So what else? We're almost done in here. Okay, so um, I also have PayPal in here. Now uh, play music, this is very useful in case, I, like I was saying, you can play music directly from your smartwatch to another Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth speaker, fantastic! It's great, so you can track your uh, runs in here. Uh, you have the settings. This is Sam that I was talking about, so you can tr you can tr uh, uh, ID the music that you're listening through the microphone in here. The sleep uh, sleep tracking is a sleep tracking app that you can while you wear your smartwatch, it will track your sleep and movements. Spotify, you can also control Spotify from here. Uh, you have stopwatch timer, uh, to do list. Is, to do list is one of the best to do this app in my opinion it's one of the most um, robust featured and apps in here as well as together you can pair with another person that have a smart watch and you can you know uh, have many notifications within each other google translate you can translate via voice in here it's pretty neat uh, tweetware this is an app that i use because you can you can see your twitter timeline in here usually you only get notifications but with this you can get a timeline here Twilight, it will dim your screen in the nighttime so you can sleep better. Wallet, so you can add transactions in here without taking out your phone. Wear speaker, so you can control the speaker from here to the to your smartphone. Uh, small calcul calculator, so it's useful for some mini uh, calculations, right? <laughs> and finally, I think the last one was weather. This is one of the building apps. And finally, I was going to talk to you about <coughs> my watch face right so you can press and hold in here and you can select different watch faces as you can see the one that i have right now it's pugia black it's my favorite because this one you can customize age and everything that you want of your smartwatch faceplate this is one the one that i came built in with the phone and you can make uh, your own or download many templates that are on the internet this one was made by another person and you can also have interactive buttons in here as you can see your fitness data your your weather as well as your appointments in here as well as quick access to voice and and settings okay so well these are all the apps that i currently use on my smartwatch okay guys so that was my list of the apps that i currently use on my android wear smartwatch so I hope you like them. I will leave the links of all these apps in the description down below so you can download them for your Android Wear smartwatch. And if you have any questions regarding of these apps, you can hit on me on the comment section and I'll try to answer all of your questions, right? So see you on the next video. Bye.